Demis Hassab is chairman and creative director of Elixir Studios, and um, we are uh, we're here to talk about Evil Genius. Now, when everybody thinks of Evil Geniuses, they think of you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this this game isn't out yet. No. Uh, tell me about the gameplay. Basically, the gameplay involves you uh, playing the part of an evil genius. So you have your own um, tropical <laughs> island. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And you get to build your own kind of lair there. Uh-huh. And then you're, what you're ultimately trying to do is build a doomsday device. I and see. then threaten the world with it and then so that they bend to your will. And, and extract as much money out of them absolutely. as possible? Absolutely. Money, everything. Power, yeah. all of it. Okay. All right. So um, you modeled this after... A genre that you love, a, uh, yeah. a story that you like? It's it's a kind of a combination of a lot of different influences, really. So on the game side, it's a combination of sort of XCOM-type games and Dungeon Keeper. Uh, and on the kind of film influences, I guess it's Austin Powers, James Bond films, okay. uh, uh, things like Flash Gordon, Fu Manchu, wow. anything which involves kind of evil geniuses, I suppose. I gotcha. Even things like Enter the Dragon. Um, so anyone, anything which has got kind of a villain bent on world domination, which has been a lot of... Uh, uh, films and books about so. sure, and uh, p- politicians, yeah, what not, ab- absolutely, and what not. All right, so how long have you been working on this game? We've been working for it uh, on about, for about two years, and uh, we've got around three or four months left. And how big is your team? It's uh, twenty-five people. Twenty-five people. How do you split that up? Designers, it, pr- or does everybody do everything? You know, it's it's uh, it's got about. We got. Uh, let me see. We've got four designers on the team, uh, and we have uh, eight programmers, and the rest are artists. So uh, we're in the Livewire uh, non-broadcast segment, so those of you that are listening are actually listening just on uh, GameSpy, Arcade, and IGN Insider. That's correct. And uh, the video is being streamed to IGN Insider as well, so if you're not seeing this, you might want to think about joining the Founders Club. It's a good time to join Insider, too, since they're running a special on it right now. Right, 1995. 1995 a year, I think. And a date with Stacey. Is that a... I got some note on that this morning. I don't <laughs> I think that Am I completely uh, mistaken on that? Yes. Okay. Yes, completely. Um, but uh, if you have questions for uh, Demis, uh, please uh, feel free to pop some in the chat room. Um, you're, this is due out... Did you put a date on this already? Yeah, it's due out uh, end of September, start of October. But no specific day. When it's ready. Yeah, yeah. When it's ready. Yeah. What do you have to do as you lead up to the release of, uh, of a game? What kind of... What entries are on the PERT chart that you know people might not be aware of? Yeah, well, when you get to certain big, uh, big milestones, so I guess the first one is prototype, which is the initial technology finished, uh, and you can sort of see the, the parts of one level or the parts of, uh, of what, how the game will come together. So you've, you've done all the main features, and then the next stage is uh, probably about a year in, you get first playable, where you can really actually play it for half an hour or an hour and really get a feel for what the gameplay is going to be like. Right. And then the stage we're at now, we've just finished, we've just passed alpha, and alpha really involves... Um, it's, it's really when the game's at the stage where you can play the whole game through from start to finish. All the features are in, and it's just polished to go. So from now until completion, we'll be polishing the interface, making the tutorial really easy, um, and making the pacing of the game right. So this is a strategy game. Yeah. How, how does the game actually get played? It's, I guess the closest types of games to it are tycoon-style games. Oh, okay. So things like Roller Coaster Tycoon, that kind of game. But it's obviously it's, it's a little bit more humorous than those sorts of games. Oh, I, I find Roller Coaster Tycoon quite humorous, yeah. especially when I'm done finishing designing my my amusement park and it's Friday. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's <laughs> it started on Tuesday. Well, and it started on Tuesday, <laughs> exactly. I, I just look. At, I remember I was supposed to visit my children one day, <laughs> and uh, they they called and I said I, I got I got I got I got to add the uh, maintenance. Guys, people are vomiting. I got I got a maintenance guys to <laughs> Don't deal with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, so, so it's got that kind of addictive tycoon style play, but also on top of that, it's also got quite a lot of elements of strategy game type play, like right. uh, an RTS. So it's kind of a combination of the two things. Cool. All right. So uh, now, can you play against the evil, or are you the evil? No, you are the evil, evil genius, genius in, in this okay. game. Yeah, and and uh, super agents come in and attack you. So the uh-huh. more the more infamous you become, and the more the more missions you complete around the world the more dangerous agents come in. So eventually, our top agents are Jet Chan and John Steele. Oh. And they, they come in, and, and they're pretty much invincible until you find out their secret weakness. Those are close to the names them. of uh, other famous uh, superheroes. Close. But not, not actually. Not, not actually. Not actually yeah. the names. That's right. So you could have had Jackie Lee as well. They could have done. You know, yeah. right, fine. I get <laughs> so it. I may have missed this, Dennis, but what platforms are you targeting, and is it a simultaneous release? Uh, we're targeting uh, PC platform, and uh, we're looking at consoles, but it won't be simultaneous. That'll be sometime afterwards. Cool. All right. Do we have any questions in the chat room? We do. We do have a couple of chat room uh, questions right now. Uh, Rich GK wants to know, uh, 
first of all, what kind of new gameplay features are in Evil Genius, and are using a totally new engine for the game, or is it the same engine that you used for uh, Republic? So new gameplay features really involves the, this combination of direct control of your henchmen and your evil genius and also kind of simulation tycoon control of all of your minions. Obviously as an evil genius you don't want to be bothered with the, the basics of running the canteen or building rooms. You want, you want that all to be taken care of for you right. so you can get on with world domination. So your minions do that for you. You want to get on with it. <laughs> you know. Any possibility of your minions getting uppity and thinking that yes. they're evil geniuses yep. as well? They can, they can desert and they can, they, can, they can get disloyal, but then you can just kill them. So they're right. expendable, you know. Right. And that makes the other ones fearful of you. So uh -huh. that's usually quite a good thing to do, kill so one another. So which is higher, a minion or a henchman? No, the henchmen are higher. So the henchmen higher. are like individual characters. They're kind of like, uh, kind of like a comic book uh, villains. So, so, you know, characters like we've got a samurai warrior, we've got a kind of a Samuel Jackson-like looking gangster. I will so pay on. you $500 if you move your seat one foot forward. Another one foot forward. <laughs> one foot, one whole foot. Just tuck yourself right when up there. When are you going to pay me the 500 There you go, sometime. <laughs> sometime. And as to, as to the second part of the question, which yes. is the engine, um, basically it uses the same basics as the Rep Republic engine, but with a lot of enhancements. So... We've done lots of special effect work on reflections, explosions, things that you wouldn't need for Republic. Sure. Um, so it's, it's very heavily enhanced. Mm -hmm. And this takes place on Earth or on a planet that you create or, or what? No, it's on Earth and uh -huh. it's, on a, it's on an island of uh, undet undetermined location. Of course. So, of course. That's where evil geniuses yeah, live. absolutely. They live on islands. Yeah. And somehow they get planes to fly to those islands. That's absolutely. I don't understand how. Maybe it's a, you know, it's a Delta schedule that I'm not aware of, but who knows. Yeah. All right. Uh, back to the chat room. So, Tazrael wants to know, what sort of devices are your uh, evil geniuses going to be able to use in the game? Sort of doomsday devices or things like that. So, we, we allow the player to build uh, rocket caverns, and there's three different doomsday devices you can build. So, one is, uh, I'll only tell you one, I'm going to spoil all the, other, the, all the three, but one is you can build a cloning device, which, um, when you launch it into space, rains down on all the people uh, on the world and changes them all into look like you. Ah. So, everyone looks like the evil genius, of course, which is what the evil genius wants. Of so, there's a, so, there's a number of different ways of completing the game. So do you have a look for the evil genius or do you build that there's, look? There's three different evil geniuses you can play. Uh -huh. So, um, so we, we've, we've announced two of them. So one's a kind of squat looking military guy and another one's a very sophisticated uh, female evil genius. Uh -huh. And we've got one secret one we're going to... Uh, Any of them names begin with Doctor? No. No? Interesting. It's called Maximilian and Alexis. Uh -huh. And the last one we haven't, we so haven't, haven't announced really yet. yet. Okay. All right, uh, back to the chat. So, uh, Dork Noob actually wants to know, is this uh, an online game at all? Is there any sort of uh, multiplayer feature at all built into it? or There's no plans for multiplayer in the initial release, but uh, we've got plans for you know an add-on or a second one which would involve multiplayer with people playing, uh, all being uh, competing evil geniuses. Okay, it's 13 past the hour, and uh, we've got news yesterday, of course. Uh, you're publishing, you're de developing this for Vivendi. Uh, yesterday, of course, uh, big news, NBC and uh, Vivendi completed their merger. Does that affect you at all? Um, Does well, it open up new possibilities we for have, you? We, we haven't uh, felt any effect of that yet. It's too early to say, So, um, but it sounds like a good thing, so uh -huh. we'll see. See an evil genius reality show in your future, perhaps? Could be. Could be. I'd like to see that. You would? Yeah. Now, you're in the U.K., yes? You, That's you, right. Where do you live in the in U.K.? In London. In London. So they have really goofy reality games. I, remember I, was, I was over there last year. They had something called Mystery House or Murder House or yeah, Mystery Murder House or something like that, where if you lost, if you couldn't figure out the, the puzzle for that week, they actually murdered you. <laughs> which, I haven't seen that one. No, it's true. And they murder you, and then you became part of the game. People had to figure out who was murdering everybody. Ah, okay. Now, you could only play the game once, obviously. Yeah. You know, because if you lose... That's you it, die, it. and uh, and there, but yet there was no shortage of Londoners uh, willing to well. play this game. <laughs> they were willing to risk their lives uh, just for the the sheer joy of BBC Four. Well, Probably to get away from the, uh, the runny eggs. The the runny eggs. That's yeah. right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anything, the and the rain, anything and to get away from that. The eggs in London. <laughs> the, when, when you go to a place and have eggs, man, I'm telling you, your chefs over there. That's that, terrible. It's the one last. I mean, most of the food in the UK has improved dramatically. Just don't go to English restaurants. Go to French ones and Italian ones, and then you're fine. You I, went to, I went to this pub right by Piccadilly Circus, and, uh, and, and it was great. It was like, you know, the, the atmosphere was great. And it was what you expect from a typical yeah, English, pub. English pub, right? Yeah. And then they served this food, and it was completely uh, undecipherable. Well, you made a mistake. You just don't eat in English pubs. Right. Everyone knows you? that. No. Never. <laughs> no, you eat in Italian and French restaurants. Why do they serve food beer? in there? Because for unsuspecting Americans. <laughs> 
I'm perfect. Why didn't I know that? But you eat Smarties and uh, Maltesers, right? Yeah, you can eat those there. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, all right. So uh, yeah. a couple more questions, then we'll wrap so, up. So uh, Fragman X9 wants to know: Can you hold people or cities hostage as an evil genius in this game? Or? No, you can't. You can you, once you once you become uh, infamous enough, you can you can make your demands to the whole world. You do it from the safety of your own TV studio. Of course, you, you can do. build one, and then you can announce it to the governments of the world, and they'll answer back to you via via video link. So uh, obviously you can't you can't you can't leave the base yourself because you'll be arrested. How much sound is in this? How much uh, voice sound? Uh, loads of it. There's there's hours of uh, yeah. voice sound. Yeah. Where'd you do the production? Here in the states or in the UK? No, in the UK. Did you? Yeah, right. yeah. Voice actors coming in and the, the sounds great actually. We're so really you had that. you had a lot of evil genius accents. That's right. Coming yeah. in and Perfect. lots of henchman accents. As well. Henchman accents. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, they have what? They 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 more like oh uh, oh uh, uh, like that. Those sorts of things. Yeah, those yeah. sorts of things. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so it's uh, due out uh, end of September, yep. beginning of October. Uh, you can go to elixir-studios.co.uk if you want information, but yep. you can always go to gamespy.com, ign.com, and check it out. It's called Evil Genius, and it's going to be out very soon from uh, Vivendi. Thanks for being with us, Demis. No problem. Thanks, Amir. Appreciate it very much. Demis Asabas, who is uh, chairman and creative director of Elixir Studios.